Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On an earlier video, I did a top five reasons why I only use Linux Mint. And then also I did a video where I was trying out MX Linux. But as always, no matter what new Linux distributions I try or which other operating system I use, whether it's Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac, I always go back to Linux Mint. And so today I'm going to be doing a Linux Mint versus everything and why I always go back to Linux Mint. And so the reason why I seem like I always go back to Linux Mint is to actually coin a phrase or actually steal a phrase from Apple's marketing. And that is, it just works. Because Linux Mint truly does just work. It kind of fulfills almost everything that I would want in an operating system. And so from an actual Linux distribution point of view, I still think it is the most stable. It is, in my opinion, the easiest to use, especially when you are transitioning from a Windows or Apple Mac operating system. And also the community around it is awesome. And so th these are things that I've talked about many times before about Linux Mint. But there's also something else that is kind of hard to explain. Okay, so once you start using Linux Mint and you get used to how it works, and then you kind of get used to other things that you wish other operating systems have. Uh, first and foremost is compatibility. Whenever you are thinking about Linux distributions, uh, most of the major and most popular Linux distributions are Ubuntu based. And for the majority of them, they do work fine with any programs that come out that is on Ubuntu, but that's not always the case. But with Linux Mint, it's rare if I've ever had any problems using any programs that are available on Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is the most popular distribution that's actually used to create many other distributions. So that's the first major thing because no matter which Linux distribution that you use, most of the times if you use a lot of different distributions, you'll find out that not everything works, okay? Not all the applications work. And so with Linux Mint, I would say 99% of the times I've had no problems. And that is a wonderful thing. And then also whenever I install Linux Mint on new hardware, and this isn't always 100% of the times, but I would say, once again, close to 99% of the times, I normally have no problems. And over the years, Linux Mint has just gotten so much better when it comes to compatibility. And that's also Linux as a whole. And then finally, when it comes to actually me customizing my operating system with Linux Mint, I really feel that it is the easiest one for me to customize and also make it look the way and function the way that I want it to. And so those are things that I really feel that make my overall experience just that much better. And that's just specifically talk about the whole Linux distribution world. But then when I go back to using an Apple Mac or especially a Microsoft Windows operating system, I really feel another thing that Linux Mint does so well and that it just allows me so much freedom. You know, so much freedom to do things. And it, once again, it's something that is really hard to explain if you've never used anything outside of Microsoft Windows or an Apple Mac ecosystem where there's just built-in limitations, especially if you're using an Apple Mac. There's just certain limitations there and such things as like, you know, whenever I plug in devices, whenever I do it on an Apple Mac, it's a pain in the butt. It's a hassle. Uh, not all formats work with the Apple Mac. And then when I plug that into a Microsoft Windows operating system, there's definitely not as many limitations, but I always feel like there's something watching me, you know, they're always watching what I'm doing on my computer. Uh, they're spying on me, you know, and that's not something new because pretty much all these operating systems have to collect some type of data, uh, but it's how they use the data that really makes a difference. And whenever I use Linux Mint, I feel a lot more secure <laughs> in the data that they're collecting is being used in a way that is actually going to help the operating system, okay, and not in a way that uh, they're actually going to use it. Uh, for other reasons that I don't agree with. And so uh, those are pretty much my overall thoughts. I just made me think about it, you know, after trying out MS Linux and then uh, thinking about all the years that I've tried out many other distributions and also using uh, Apple's uh, Mac OS just recently and also Microsoft Windows for more than two decades. It's something that I really feel I haven't felt with any other operating systems where I continually go back to Linux Mint. And hopefully that'll be the case for many, many more years to come. And so if you had any thoughts on this, whether it is Linux Mint 
or any other operating system, whether it's a Linux distribution or maybe it's just Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac that you continually go back to, let me know the reasons why you go back to it. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you did want to support my channel further, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you will get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page and join my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks a lot and I will see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.